So let's configure it on the router and you'll see that it'll work. We'll click on this router. Okay. And let's see if we can set that up just right off the bat, right? I don't think we can. Routing, static, right? Okay. Well, and once again, I don't want to use the command line right now because we're going to save that for later chapters. So let's see here. Okay. To get to the 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 network, right? On mask 0, .0, .0, .0, go to the next hop, the next router, next hop means next router's interface, which is 10.0.0.2. And then I'll click Add. And I've just added that. Notice the command, it's really not that hard. In the router, the command was in global config mode, IP route to 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, and to the interface. That's it. Pretty easy, right? Now it's done, right? Okay, so now this router has a static route or a default gateway or a gateway of last resort going this way, right? Going that way. But the ping is still not going to work. The ping is still not going to work because now the ping will get to the router. The router will know what to do with it. It'll say, if I don't know what it is, I send it this way. It'll get to this router. This router will actually direct it to the server. It'll get all the way to the server, and the server will try to reply with an echo reply, ICMP echo uh, reply, and it'll come back, and it'll get to this router, and this router will say, I don't know what to do. So this router also needs a default route or a static route. Let's set this router up with a static route on how to get back. Instead of a, a gateway of last resort, we'll set this router up with a static route. So we'll say, for this router, config static routing to get to the 192, wait, 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 192.168.1.0 network. 255.255.255.0 go to the next hop 10.0.0.1 go to the next router's interface and I'll click add right okay and so now that top router knows how to get to the one network so now if we close this out right this PC should be able to ping the server, and this PC sh will not be able to ping the server. We'll try it out. Go to the command prompt. We'll say ping 172.16.1.100. Hit enter, and boom. As you can see, it works. Right? Our default, our gateway of last resort default route, and our static route worked, but for this PC, it's not going to work. Ready? Watch. Command prompt. Ping. 172.16.1.100. Hit enter. And you can see it's not working. Right? Timed out. Let's watch all the timeouts. Okay? Timed out. Timed out timed out right didn't work okay well why not as soon as this guy pings the router knows what to do with it sends it out its uh, gateway of last resort this way gets to this router he knows what to do with it sends it to the server server sends it back and this router says and this router says <laughs> I know how to get to the 10 network, the 172.16 network, and I have a static route, notice the S, to the 192.168.1 network, but I don't know where the 192.168.5 network is, right? So, all we have to do is go to the router, go to config, go to static, and add a route 
to the 192.168.5.0 network, put in the appropriate mask, and tell it which interface to go to. In this case, 10.0.0.1. Click Add. Now it's added the route. Notice the command line entry in the router for how to do that. Pretty easy. And now the router, watch this. Now the router, if you go here, control C, hit enter, do a show IP route. It has a route to the five network. So is it going to work? Absolutely it's going to work. So now what we can do is on this PC, command prompt, and now we can ping the server. It's that simple. Before I end this quick tutorial, I want to show you the routing table for the other router really quickly to show you the gateway of last resort that we set up. We haven't even looked at it. It's pretty cool. You'll love it. Let's look at the show IP route command here. Notice on the bottom router, it's got a static route also. Notice the S here. You see it says S is static, but it's also got a star, and star means candidate default. It's a default route to the 0000 via this interface, and notice it's a gateway of last resort it is 10.0.0.2 for any network, right? Any unknown network, it's going to go that way. All right, that's it. That's a nice introduction to um, how routers function and how, and how we need routes to actually communicate across networks.